George, a hat trick today uh, and a massive 6 0 win. How did that feel against your former club? Uh, yeah, bittersweet for me really because I don't, I don't want to see them down there. You know, they were, they played a big part in obviously me coming here. Um, but yeah, for us, it's the main thing for us is to get the three points on the board today with Salford not playing. Um, so yeah, it puts us back top, which is the main thing for us. So we raced into a commanding lead at half time for the second time at home. After the second half of the Alpha team game, was there any worry at half time about letting him back into it? Um, I, don't, I don't think so. I think you know, the, lads, the lads made sure it was said at half time that we didn't want to, you know, if we, even if we just came out and it was nil nil, um, just make sure we, we keep it solid at the back or as a unit. Um, and make sure we don't give ourselves that, that problem um, and obviously then we controlled it for the first 15 minutes of the second half and then you know gaps start to open because they've got to go they've got to go for it a little bit so it was I thought we played you know our game management today I thought was good um, and obviously then to, to come away 6-0 you know, that's probably our biggest result of the season. So it was a full house here today just over 1500 people and a great atmosphere from both sets of fans what was that like to play in? It always makes a difference um, you know the fans have been amazing all season and the crowds have been getting bigger and bigger which is what we want you know it makes it makes a difference for us on the pitch when the fans are singing like the worst second half um, obviously we've got to make it enjoyable for them which I hope we're doing in a minute um, but yeah to play in front of as many people as possible you know that's what, that's what we want to do. So that result takes us back to the top of the league on goal difference and makes us the league's top scorers by a considerable margin what's it like to play in that forward line? Um, amazing really. um, you know we, we, we pride ourselves I think on being an attacking team um, but then we want to be solid as a back as a back line or as a team as well so um, yeah you know we've got that we've got a good goal difference um, obviously best in the league um, scored a lot of goals and I think we failed to score in, in a game this season um, so we know going into games that if we if we if we keep a clean sheet we get we are more than likely going to win games um, so yeah, you know, go, go, we, like I said, we pride ourselves on being an attacking team and hopefully we've on some good displays, especially on this pitch. So obviously it's neck and neck with, with Salford at the top, both sides each one point. Do the players keep an eye on the league table or is it just a case of just concentrating on um, each game? You know, I think everyone looks at it now and again, but we know we're in a position now where if we do our business, you know, if we win 10 games out of 10, we're going to be, we're going to win the league. So. You know, it's it's one of them where you always look out for the teams around you. You would you would at any any uh, end of the uh, table. So we look at it, but you know we just got to keep going and doing what we're doing. And obviously we're on a very good run at the minute. And uh, we just got to keep that momentum going to the end of the season. Thank you, Tom.